according to Chinese rumor or legend, uh, an emperor has 3,000 concubines. 3,000, whether it's literally 3,000, we don't know, okay? How do you and something? So how do you get the attention of the emperor? So that he will devote all his love just to you. Everybody wants to be empress, want to be the number one woman, okay? So how do you, you either kill the other 2,900, <laughs> or what, what else you do? You have to seduce the emperor. And the time frame you have to seduce the emperor is very limited. Maybe three, four years. After 24, you consider very old. Okay? <laughs> so don't ask me how old I am. <laughs> so you have to utilize all means, you know, to attract the emperor's attention. So that's why all the killing inside the palace. You kill each other, poison each other, they they badmouth each other, <laughs> they use feng shui, they use, you know, make a figure looks like you and put on the leader and put <laughs> Every night, you know, all kinds of, all means, by all means, you know, you get to the emperor. It's very sad, actually. I would want to live that kind of life so tired. You just, every day you wonder how, how to get rid of that one, that one. And after you get rid of 10, there are 10 more and 20 more and 30 more. It never ends because the, every season, the emperor, not the emperor, but the, the palace will arrange some kind of women screening ceremony to screen all the women. And then the emperor will step out to the to the palace mm -hmm. and see all the soldiers lining up. Okay, that one. Okay, <laughs> this one. <laughs> and then they, they all include in the palace. And sometimes um, those girls never have a chance to get close to the emperor. Never. They just ignore. It. Then they grow old and die just completely like garbage inside the palace. Because the emperor didn't think of all this food. It's just not possible, you know, for the emperor to think of that. And the and other thing is the power of the units. In, in, in China, I believe Hai Gang. Because they're so powerful. And we have to bribe the unit. A lot of bribes so the unit get close to the emperor. Another person you have to bribe for the concubines were the embroiderers. Because the embroidery, embroiderers, they, they were able to embroider beautiful, seductive costumes. And those costumes uh, were like, what do you call it? Translucent, like the veil. So all the embroidery, like the embroidery just at the right position. <laughs> right? And the emperor would be completely, oh my god, fascinated, you know, lost, lost his mind. So they also have to have to bribe the embroiderers. So embroiderers are, were pretty powerful actually inside inside the palace. You know, painters too, because no photograph, and we all know the stories of the multi-bunny painters. Because they pay you, and the story, that one story goes is the emperor, because to call a painter, he had to paint the, um, the portraits of all the girls and then show it to the emperor, and the emperor picked, oh, I want this one, I want that one. So if you don't bribe the, the, the court emperor, uh, I mean the court painter, they do a very ugly portrait of you. <laughs> this part, because I've written so many, so now once a, one a year is good for me. But more than that, it's just too much. Because my novel is a lot of, act, act. it's not like from music writing, you know what I mean? Not like according to a certain formula. And I have a lot of twists and turns and very complex plots. So one a year, including research, is just enough, but I work non-stop, okay. <laughs>